So what's up you guys, it's your girl Young Africana back at it again with another video. Today I have this hair sponsored by Yolisa Hair. I have their 13 by 4 frontal bob wig in the 613 color. And I'm just showing you guys what they provide in the box. I got a wig cap, an elastic band, some lashes, and a hair bag. So as you guys can see, this is how the hair looks like out of the package, and I'll be using my shimmer lights to tone the hair. Now, for the watercoloring method, when you're trying to get a pastel color, and this is what a lot of people I see on YouTube do wrong. So you want to make sure that you tone your hair first. If you're doing pastel, tone your hair first. You want to make sure you have a blank canvas. That's like you expecting to get white and putting white on top of yellow like that, that's not gonna happen you know and you're not gonna get white so you want to make sure that we get um, the hair as white as possible like not white but you want to get it to a platinum color so the color really takes and that's why a lot of people have trouble with the color taking because a lot of the colors that you guys are using but the yellow it does not have yellow undertones so, um, a little science. I ain't no perfect cosmetologist. I'm not a cosmetologist anyways, but I feel like it's low-key kind of like common sense a little bit. But, yeah, this is why a lot of people have trouble with the pastel colors and the color not coming out and the color coming out blotchy. So, you're just going to keep on dipping it back and forth. And I left it inside the water for like two minutes so it could really sit and for it to really change into a platinum color. Now, on for our watercoloring. So I went ahead and dumped out um, the shampoo water and I just filled it back up with some warm tap water and I'm using two periwinkles and one baby blue from Adore. I like Adore. I feel like the color really takes well and the color is like a nice thick consistency and that's what I like. I feel like you get more of a saturated color versus the um, temptation. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and add periwinkle and you want to go by um, intervals. So what I mean by intervals is just like, you know, you don't want to add the whole entire bottle in. You want to just keep on, you know, progressing and adding and adding until like you get the perfect color. So what I did right now is added some periwinkle and then added a bit of the baby blue. And you're just going to keep on dipping it back and forth inside of the water until you get the color that you desire. And um, right now, as you guys can see, I'm adding more of the periwinkle, and I'm just going to be dipping it back and forth. Now, um, it does take time for the color to take, but the color will take, um, but you just want to make sure that you keep a nice eye on the water so that your hair doesn't turn too dark. And you're just going to keep on dipping it or possibly adding more color to get the color that you desire. Now this is how she is coming out. I wanted this nice baby denim dusty kind of blue. Like you know like a pastel -y kind of blue. I feel like this color is so pretty. And um, yeah you know I just like this color a lot. I saw this on Instagram so I wanted to recreate this color and it came out exactly how I wanted it. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and um, take out the water and I'm going to be using my baby, my holy grail, my silicone mix conditioner. Now I'm being pretty generous with the conditioner. I wanted to go all over the hair and I'll be using my comb just to make sure that the conditioner is evenly distributed throughout the hair and you just want to make sure that your hair is soft all around, you know? And what I'm going to do um, after this is place it inside of a plastic bag, tie the plastic bag and then we're going to put it in the microwave. Yes, we're going to put it inside the microwave and I'll tell you guys why that's why I do this so the reason why I do this is so that um, it can retain the moisture and open up the pores in the hair so it could um, be softer than what I expect it to be you know so yes we're gonna tie it up and I'm gonna put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then I will let it sit out or open it after it's done and then just let it sit out for 15 minutes All right, you guys, all my shenanigans are done, but uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and dry this wig. I rinsed out the conditioner, of course, and um, yeah, we're just drying this off my blow dryer. Now on to the flat ironing. I'll be using my Garnier Fructis Flat Iron Mist, and I'm going to spray that all over the hair, and I sectioned my hair so I can flat iron my hair. Now, big, big, big alert, you guys. 
um, don't follow what I did in the beginning. You want to make sure that your um, heat is on like a medium to low heat when you're flat ironing your hair. When it comes to pastel colors or just any color that's light and that you watercolored or just dyed in general, if you have the heat very high, it's going to change colors. So I made that mistake at the, at the bottom, but um, I made sure and I caught on. So I was like, okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and use regular heat so that the color doesn't change on me and that it doesn't look blotchy. Now, I already have the ball cap on her head, and I'm just going to go ahead and put on the wig and cut out those ear tabs. So you guys, I did forget to tell you that I did pluck the hairline just a little bit. The wig did come pre-plucked, but I wanted to pluck it just a little bit more just so that it can look more natural. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into her foundation shade, and I'm going to go ahead and tint the lace with it. Now I went ahead and cut two slits at the temple because this wig kind of came a little weird and my client she kind of has like a small forehead so uh, to ensure that it fits properly I just cut those two slits on it with a pull and tug and now right now I went ahead and used my 91% alcohol and I'm gonna go ahead and clean her perimeter usually I go about three to four times over the perimeter so I know that everything is clean because you can never be too safe you know so yeah I went ahead and did it about like four times to clean her her hairline and I'll be using the boat hole active and I'll be applying that right where her hairline is at and you want to make sure that you have a nice width and what I mean by width is like you know how wide the glue is this will ensure that your install will last longer and it will stick and per usual for my clients I did three layers and I'm gonna go ahead and spray that hairline with my got to be free spray just to ensure that hold and I'm gonna go in with my blow dryer just to blow off both the hairspray and the glue just so it could dry you want to make sure that it dries clear and I'm gonna go ahead and place the frontal where it should be on the lace, it's on the lace, on the glue. And you want to make sure that it's completely dry before you start placing, you guys. And you're going to ask your client to help hold your lace in place. Just so that you're able to blow dry and melt that lace, y'all. And now I'm just going in with my rat tail and my blow dry. Just to really press in that lace into the glue. Now I went ahead and parted uh, the hairline at the front just because I know that the glue is a little bit more back there and to ensure that we have a nice hold I like to part it and then put my elastic band on just so that I know that you know I got it in the right spot. I don't like to explain it but yeah <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and use my got to be free spray and there ain't no such thing as too much got to be you feel me? Nah there probably is but <laughs> I'm chatting right now. But I'm going to go ahead and spray that and I'm going to use my elastic band just to tie that right on her hairline so it can really melt and suck in that lace, y'all. And I'm going to blow dry just a little bit, you know, just on the people. And we're just going to blow dry and we're going to do our thing. Now it is on to cut in that lace, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and use my little razor blade, my little, um, eyebrow razor and with the little slits and this is what helps with cutting we're gonna cut away you guys want to make sure you're getting to, as close to the hairline and to the glue as possible without lifting the glue so be very careful especially if your razor comb is dull because mine was very dull so yeah <laughs> I just, like you just gotta be careful and again I'm gonna use some more got to be I really think that there's no such thing as too much got to be because I don't know how many times I pulled out this bad boy in this video I'm going to use my gossipy just to spray down that hairline and to really melt in that lace. And this is what really helps melt the lace, you guys, is the gossipy and the uh, Nairobi setting lotion when you wrap it. Like, this really helps it melt into your skin. So, again, I'm going to go press that, put the elastic band on again. Yes, you guys, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. But we're going to go ahead and part my hair. I'm going to part it into a side part 
and I'm also going to part the hair in the back just so it can cover the tracks in the back and this just ensure that your install looks nice and neat and there's no track showing because that's not cute mommy though. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my Terra Care wax stick and I'm going to press that in the back and use my hot comb to suppress that in so the hair stays in place. And I'm just going to use that all over the hair as well and on the hairline just to give it that nice and sleek look. Now as you guys can see, it's looking more and more melted by the hour, y'all. <laughs> now, I wanted to keep, um, or well, not keep, I wanted to do this little tendril, you know, the little ear thing where people, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about, y'all. So I just pulled that out on the side where her part is at, and I'm going to go put my Nairobi setting lotion on her hairline, and we're going to use the elastic band again. And we're going to wait for it to dry completely. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover her up because we're going to cut, you guys. And what I'm going for is an asymmetrical kind of look. So it's going to be short on one side and then longer on the other. So for some reason I didn't get the other side of me recording like the other side of where the long part is at. But I feel like you guys should get the gist. If you don't, hopefully I'll do another style like this and um, just more in depth. But yeah, you guys. Now I'm taking off the elastic band and this is where the melt is really coming into play. Like y'all see that melt y'all? Do you guys see the melt? Like it looks great. Uh, and now we're just going to go ahead and go back into our hot comb again because we don't like that little crease that the elastic band had left. So we're going to go back in just to remove that little crease. And yeah. Now, I decided I want to do like a little baby hair, just one baby hair. And um, what I'm doing right now is taking out a little piece. I'm going to go ahead and hot comb it, cut it with my razor comb. And then we're just going to use the Nairobi setting lotion and then just swoop it up. We're going to swoop the doop 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 it up, you guys. And we're just going for it to dry. Now, I went ahead and used my BioSilk serum all over the hair just to give the hair a nice and natural shine and I placed that on the tendril as well because it had a little bit of flyaways too and I'm going back in now after that I cut it just to bump the hair And now I'm just going to go ahead and bump the other side as well. I'm sorry if I'm blocking the camera, you guys. I don't have that much space in my room, so, you know. If I had the space, you know, I wouldn't be in your way, you guys. <laughs> um, but um, right now, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to go ahead and comb out that little baby hair. Because you guys know I love my baby hair soft. I don't like that crunchy baby hair look. It's not it. I mean, sometimes it looks nice. But for the most part, I like them nice and natural, you know? So, yeah, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and use my hot comb just to really press in those edges so we can have a, a nice sleek look. And I use something like Carrot Care just to tame those flyaways. And we are pretty much done, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more content like this. Comment some videos that you guys want to see or some colors you want me to do. I definitely do want to get into some more colors. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I catch y'all in the next segment. Deuces!